hecklers are a thing when you, you know, and it's like we all learn how to handle it. Year, year after year, you evolve and you figure out how to, yeah. and uh, I'm very, some people are confrontational. I like to make sure I, hey, like, I'm trying to finish the show. I was already on stage like 50 minutes. I got like two, three more minutes. I'm going to land this plane. I'm going to hopefully big applause and then good night, everybody. Have a, be safe. And um, this dude was like in the corner and just got like, I was like, hey, man, I'm trying to finish up these jokes. If you don't mind, um, I don't know if they came to see you. <laughs> like, people came to see me. <laughs> if you don't mind. He was like, man, tell you little jokes. And this dude got like super hot at me. And I was like, hey, man, I was just trying to calm you down. And this dude got up and he was like, started stretching. Like, he was ready to fight. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, are you, I was like, I'm trying to tell some jokes. Are you trying to, are you trying to be aggressive right now? Like, this is. <laughs> It was, it, was, it was too much. He was with his girl and everything, and then it just got, this dude stood up, security had to come over, right? And then this dude just, I, and I don't know if I triggered something like, hey, could you calm down a little? I don't know, maybe calm down made him go cry. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what was going on in his life, so I can't, I can't pinpoint it, but like four security guards had to pull this dude out, and then they're in the park. I'm still on stage. I don't know what's happening outside. I'm still on stage <laughs> like, um, this is not gonna be as exciting as what's happening outside. <laughs> What he didn't know is like, he's, he's giving the cops a problem, security a problem, upstairs from the comedy club was a uh, ugly Christmas sweater party with 30 SWAT and highway patrolmen. <laughs> <laughs> and they all run out, I saw the security footage, they all run out of one revolving door. <laughs> if you've ever seen 30 police officers wearing ugly Christmas sweaters run out of a revolving door. They couldn't get out there quick enough. <laughs> And so I had to hear the story, but like 50 people told me a story because I'm still on stage. And I'm like, what happened? They're like, you're not going to believe it. <laughs> so that was like probably one of the most interesting ones like recently. Hey, man. How, what, I, give me, what, which, which, you remember anything from when you was touring? Dog, I, my favorite story is smoking um, cigars with the Kings, me, Bernie, said, and DL. <laughs> we all, uh, we used to smoke cigars. And it was a fine for smoking in the buildings. You know, we were doing all the basketball arenas. So we got so good, we were sending the money ahead. <laughs> and, uh, Y'all just... You, you, yeah, the Kings you, was you making had, you, money. You was putting it on credit? You yeah, we just, we're going to 75... They, they had increased the fine over the years. So we just sent them 7,500. So fire marshal... 7,500? Yeah, 7,500 to smoke. So y'all can smoke cigars? Yeah, yeah. We were just, this was the kings. Of Always comedy. have more than one revenue stream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we send the money in, and we're in Buffalo, New York, at the Arco Arena, and the fire marshal comes in. He goes, "Hey, you guys, can put those cigars out. It's a fine for smoking." And I said, "Uh, we already sent them in. We already sent the money in. We prepaid for." So that. he said. <laughs> I have any idea what you're talking about. You're gonna have to put those cigars out. I said, sir, we, we prepaid the fine. We, we, we're okay with it. So he went away and he came back and he found out we had prepaid. So he came <laughs> back and he said, uh, hey, look, uh, I don't know, what, what, what's your name, gentlemen? And, and uh, I said, that's Bernie. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, Bernie Mac. Yeah, 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 it's great. Uh, I don't, but it's okay, you guys paid. And so we said, thank you, sir. We were steady smoking. We'd never stop. <laughs> And we paid the seventy five hundred. Why he checking and everything? Yeah, we, whatever. We go. We smoking a cigar. So he says, uh, "Hey, uh, think I could have a cigar with the Kings?" <laughs> we said, "Yeah, man." We lit a cigar. He sat out, start puffing up. That's the best story. Hey, Tony, thanks for stopping yeah. by, man. Thank you, Steve. Much success, man. Thank Great you. career, man. Appreciate it. You're bad boy. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're gonna enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.